Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Placement. And this is for the month of October 2022. Venus, the god of the goddess of love, she's the ruler of Libra. So, and she is in Libra this month. So we are going to see what that means for you. Libra is obviously about balance, fairness within connections, within love and romance. Venus, the god of love, is all about feelings and emotions when it comes to love. So we'll see what comes out for you. A light grows brighter only by lighting another. That's like taking your light and letting it shine so other people could be influenced and drawn into the same positive light. Card of two. And for, um, you know, October or for fall, I have two decks that I just ordered. One is the Nightmare, the Nightmare Before Christmas, and then this one came up when I googled um, Halloween decks. So we'll see if you guys like these decks. If you don't resonate with Halloween, I totally get it. I'm only going to be using it during the month of Halloween. All right. Oh, two. Snow Angel. Card of four. The signs are with you already. So there's two and there's four. We'll see what signs. And this is card of 17, which is eight. Break it down. Four, four. So four, four, four. It's already divine is with you this month. The universe has your back. You're not alone. See what I mean? Strangely lonely. Holding on way too tight. But you're not alone. Your spirit guides are guiding you. At the bottom of the deck, look. Two little witches. Magical space. Clearing time. All right, let's see what else. For my Scorpios during the month of October. Card of 47. Sacred Reverence. For some of you, you may feel that somebody holds the key to your heart. They may feel that you hold the key to their heart. Hawk spirit. All right, we got two. Let spirit be your guide. See with the 444? I do feel like that. It's like whatever is happening in this month is divinely guided. White raven spirit, trust in magic. It's like your light is shining bright this month and people... Are being drawn to your energy and if you look it like it looks like two humans facing one another like open towards co communication open towards one another being in their space these two birds the way they popped out are facing one another Ten of Needles. So f some of you may be experiencing a very hard ending. Maybe to a connection that was very, you know, deep within you. Um, maybe an ending to a job or a career. But there's an ending coming. Or may have just recently happened in the near past. This could be, you, for those of you that haven't had an ending, this could be of various things that have not worked out the way you anticipate it and it's having you feeling like you can't, you know, you can't get up. It's very weighing on your back, weighing on your shoulders. 
But I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom, the Queen of Presence, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you could have Earth in your energy. But this is you regaining your stability throughout the month, getting back to a solid foundation for yourself, progressing along with your stability and healing. What is the current situation for my Scorpios? Page of Pentacles. Could be a younger earth sign coming towards you with an offer. And there was an ending with the death card here, or it's going to be coming, like I said, because this is for October. But there was an ending, and it left things feeling very dark. But there is a younger earth sign coming towards you. They could be offering you... Um, a position at their workplace. They This could be an offer to begin to work. A higher position maybe. But this also could be somebody that's looking at this pentacle like I've got my eye on the prize and it's Scorpio and they're thinking about coming towards you. What is blocking or helping the situation for October? King of Potions. They're coming in with their heart on their sleeve, very vulnerable, letting you know that they have feelings for you. I feel like within this ending, you have done some soul searching. Trying to figure out like um, the light at the end of the tunnel, what that what the future holds for you. What doesn't belong in your life anymore? And like I said, your light is shining. It's like you're a beacon of light for other people. So people are drawn to your energy this month. But I also feel there's somebody coming in that's going to unlock your heart. That feels like they've, you know, you, you feel like they're the person that needed to pull you out of the endings. That needed, it was like this healing energy that comes into your life. I also feel it's like spirit guiding them towards you. And there's a magical moment that's about to happen. What is the past energy? Ten of presence. So like I said, you are going to progress to nurturing a connection. This is you nurturing connections in your life, your family, your friends, feeling very abundant. For some of you, you could be gifted money. There could be a windfall of money coming your way that you don't expect. But it's a solid foundation within the connections in your life. And I feel like this person coming towards you is bringing you not just love, not just an offer of commitment, of feelings, but also of stability. What does the future energy hold for my Scorpios? Future energy hold. Wow. Yep. Love. Ace of Potions. You might have your guard up just because of endings that you've been through that have been hard on you. You could have currently, you know, you could be feeling yourself closing chapters and this offer comes in. It's like, you know what? I'm a little busy. I'm trying to clear out my space, get my secret foundation back, you know, like the tarot reading said, and here you are with this cup of love. I don't know if I'm ready, but I do feel within you, you're going to see, um, you're going to have that pull that you want to put effort into this connection because you're feeling it. You're feeling what they're offering. But I do feel initially you're going to have your, your guard up. Let's see what else just popped out. Three of potions. Three of cups. Wanting to come in and be a team player. Wanting to come in and like just work on things with you. Three of presence. Your ship's coming in. For some of you, it's your, your meeting goals this month. You're, um, you're 
something that you manifested, you desired, is coming to fruition. Something that you've worked really hard on. This could be a connection within your workplace. You might find a connection within your workplace or somebody's eyeing you up and wanting to come towards you. They want to, you know, work on things together with you. Um, they're being dedicated towards this connection. And for some of you, you see this, the six of potions. There is somebody returning from the past, a comforting connection that you've experienced within this person. And they, they do. You are their ships coming in they feel like they see um they see a future within you and they want to come in and be dedicated towards it and they want to work on it with you two of candles again it's like you're going to have to go in with your intuition you're standing there you're thinking about your past you're thinking about what you want in the future and then lo and behold here is this offer and for some of you I feel like you're going to be willing to go towards it but for others of you I think you're going to go with your you know it's you're going to weigh it out you're going to be cautious what does Scorpio need to embrace during the month of October what does Scorpio need to embrace in the month of October. Seven of presents. This is the work, the seeds that you have planted, the effort that you've put into past experiences in your life. Whether it be work, your family life, um, your friends, it's the seeds that you've planted with your truest heart. And it's coming to fruition. You're going to choose the path this month that you're meant to be on. And like I said, I feel like it's divinely guided. I feel like this offer has been slowly making its way to you. And it's been gaining um, stability along the way. Alright, Spirit. And what does Scorpio need to let go of during Libra season? Yeah, closing out chapters that you do not feel resonate with you anymore. You're looking on to the future this month. And you're letting new like new chapters open up. You're being you're coming out of the darkness and you're coming into light. Now, do you see your future with this person that's coming towards you or are you going to close the chapter? It's going to be different for each and every one of you depending on the experience. It's not going to be the same experience for each and every person. For some of you, you did hold tight to this connection. And you're receiving synchronicities with from spirit. You got 3-3 three, three here. You have 8-8, eight, eight, which again breaks down to 4-4. Four, four. You have 4-4-4 four, four, four here. Three threes. You have two tens, ten ten, endings and a stability on like in the horizon for you. There is healing happening within you, though. All right, spirit, please clarify what is coming towards Scorpio. Yeah, you are in your head about a specific situation. It has been stressful for you. It has caused you anxiety. Whatever this ending is, it did has caused you caused you unhappiness. But like I said, with strength here twice, you are coming out of the darkness. And now there's an offer of stability waiting for you. Now again, I'm going to say for some of you, it is going to be someone from the past. Why is this strength card here twice? It could be a fire sign. Or they have, you know, they have fire in their chart. But why the strength card is here twice? Yeah.
you have, you could have two offers coming towards you. One of stability, one of uh, an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or it could be water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They could have both in their chart. Because I do have fire too. But it's, you're going to choose, you're going to follow your heart and you're going to choose love. Not that the Queen of Pentacles isn't going to be offering love also. Not saying this earth sign isn't going to be offering love too with their stability. But you're going to go towards the connection that you feel drawn to with your heart. And it is your wish fulfillment. I do feel like with judgment on the bottom... And the Six of Potions here, it is going to be someone from the past for some of you. Yeah, see? But I got to tell you, they're leaving their old ways behind them. I mean, they're coming in right this time. You are going to be guarded, but they're coming in in a different energy. They're coming in with a transformation. Final message for my Scorpios during October. For those of you that are able to pay it forward, always pay it forward when you can, whether it be towards animals, um, you know, donating towards children, paying it forward towards the homeless, towards people in front of you in line, um, just pay it forward with an open heart. For some of you, you may. And that, when you pay it forward with an open heart, you receive it back like tenfold. Blessings, miracles. But not because you're looking for that. You're doing it with an open heart because you can. Because you have it to pay forward. But there, I do feel for some of you, there is a confident fire sign coming in. And they want an equal give and take with you. I've got fire, I've got earth, and I've got water here. And I do feel like spirit is guiding this person towards you. They hold the key to your heart. I believe you hold the key to their heart. Your energy is like a magnet, and they're coming towards, they're just coming in. All right, let me know how this resonates. I will be back for many more readings. Um, and if you are a Libra, Scorpio, Cusp, make sure you watch the Libra reading. Or if you have Libra within your chart, make sure you head over and watch that um, year ahead reading for Libra. And then I also did the Libra placement for October. All right. Love and light, guys. Stay safe.